in this video i will talk about open circuit when two terminals are isolated that means there is a gap or interruption in any circuit that is called an open circuit let's say i have three resistances r1 r2 and r3 previously they were connected in series consider due to some unavoidable circumstances this terminal and this terminal gets disconnected see in this circuit there is a break between this point and this point therefore the total current in this circuit will be equal to zero because the current that is supplied by this positive terminal cannot complete its journey up to this negative terminal therefore i will get an open circuit across this let's say if i say this is as a terminal and this is as b terminal these two terminal will act like an open circuit no current can flow in this circuit so i will be equal to zero as the current equal to zero therefore the resistance of this open circuit r o c will be equal to v s divided by i here as current i equal to zero therefore our roc will be infinity something by zero equal to infinity that means an open circuit provides an infinite resistance to current flow an open circuit may result due to component failure or disintegration of conducting path such as breaking wire now let me show you the open circuit in case of a series circuit and open circuit in case of a parallel circuit now let me show you the open circuit in series see in this circuit i have a voltage source of 9 volt this circuit contains resistor 10 ohm 20 ohm and this 30 ohm and in this circuit i am getting a current flow of 0.15 ampere let's say a fault occurs in this circuit as a result this wire gets removed from our total circuit therefore our circuit will look like this now see in this circuit the current i equal to zero the current i in this circuit is equal to zero as the current equal to zero so when this wire gets disconnected from our circuit our circuit will act like an open circuit because this is not a total closed circuit we have a break between this point and this point so when a circuit gets opened it, it will show some phenomena first one is that the current i in this circuit is equal to zero now now look at the reading of this emitter 0, 0.00 ampere and there will be no voltage drop see as the current equal to zero therefore i into 10 ohm drop will be equal to zero because i is zero i r drop across this 20 ohm will be equal to zero or i into 30 i r drop will be equal to zero that means voltage drop across each of the resistor is equal to zero see as the current is equal to zero there is no voltage drop across this 10 ohm 20 ohm or 30 ohm resistor as the voltage drop across each of the resistor is equal to zero therefore i you will see if i mark this terminal as a terminal and this as b terminal here we are applying the voltage of 9 volt this entire voltage will be appeared across this a and b terminal and in some book you may have seen this that voc the open circuit voltage will be exactly equal to the applied voltage or source voltage here source voltage is equal to 9 volt now let me talk about open circuit in parallel that means one or more branches in a parallel circuit may develop an open circuit see here we have 10 ohm 50 ohm and this 20 ohm resistors are connected in parallel I'm, and i'm supplying their parallel connection with a voltage source of 9 volt see under no, see under normal condition in this circuit we have a current flow of 1.53 ampere now let's say a fault occurs in this circuit and due to that fault this branch develops an open circuit see when this branch develops an open circuit there is no current flow through this 20 ohm resistor and you will see the total current has been 
reduced because after disconnecting this 20 ohm resistor from the circuit the total resistance of the circuit will be increased there which will result a lower current in this circuit if i replace the resistance r3 with a let's say lamp under normal condition this lamp will give us glow but if an open circuit occurs you'll see this lamp will be out of this circuit okay that's it thank you